Um, so I'm going to tell a story today about a king from um, a distant place in time who had two sons and he planned to divide up his kingdom like this, but then he had another son, so he tried to generalize his previous solution, but he realized that the first two sons wouldn't be able to ever see each other, um, and that made him very sad. So like all men who have problems with their kids, he, even though if the problem is a mathematical geography problem, he turned to his wife and said, what should we do? And she said, this is really easy, let's just do it like this. Um, and so they have three sons, three pairs, three borders. The king was so happy with her for this that nine months later, they had another son. <laughs> um, he tried to generalize her previous solution, and he realized that these two sons, while they could relate, they couldn't do so privately because these two would be able to hear them and so on. So um, he again asked his wife, but this time she had no ideas, so they turned to the court wizard, a very august man named de Morgan, and he had several solutions. So everything was fine in the kingdom until she got pregnant again. And this time he tried to draw a map with five regions with 10 pairwise borders, and he was unable to. He was also the court doctor, not just a court wizard, and he realized that he actually needed a six-region map because she was very large this time. Um, so let's leave them in this predicament and flash forward to 1850s in England, where a young man named Francis Guthrie was, um, he had been a math student and now he was a map maker and he noticed that he could color every map with four colors. He noticed that he could and he wondered if this was generally true. In general, do four colors suffice? By color, what I mean is um, if two regions share a border, they have to be different colors. If they merely meet at a point like Utah and New Mexico, they can be the same color. So he asked his previous professor, Augustus de Morgan, who asked other mathematicians, nobody knew the answer. So this became known as the four-color conjecture. It seemed to be true. Nobody could find a counterexample. People tried things like this. This is Martin Gardner's um, April Fool's counterexample. And um, it turned out there are no counterexamples. It turned out to be a, the four-color conjecture turned out to be a, the four-color theorem. It's true. Um, and this wasn't actually proven for over 100 years. And the proof itself is very long and complicated, and part of it relies on a computer. For those of you in academia, you can tell that your department chair is happy with your work when he makes a postal meter stamp with your result on it. <laughs> OK, so all planar maps can be colored with four colors. Notice the new word, planar. It turned out that the king lived on a planet shaped like a donut. and. There you can have seven regions with 21 pairwise borders.